Backwards mindset. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. So I snuck in the house. Maddie, Amanda, that Mrs. Backwards lady to the small troll. They gone. I don't know where they went. Probably to the store. Probably pick up some milks, breads, cheeses, etc. etc. I snuck into the house. I decide I'm gonna try to redeem myself, okay? I'm gonna try and make a nice picture. Okay, so I got my art supplies together. Now, I went and I asked little Darcy. I said, Darcy, if you was going to draw a picture, what would your dad tell you to do? How would you make a good picture? She said, I will get you the supplies that you need. I said, thank you, little Darcy. Okay. And then Aiden kind of helped, too, because he came up with a good idea. Because I was sitting there. This table Maddie uses is uneven. Okay, and I didn't want to ha have real nice lines when I'm drawing. Okay. So, first thing first okay you need a surface to draw on and I now I kind of remember this one from when I was a child I used to use this JC Penney's catalog what is what does Aiden bring me Bass Pro catalog okay this is the celebrating 50 years Bass Pro okay so this is what we're gonna do okay you put this down the table first and then you put your papers on top of it now little Darcy brought me enough papers here in case I make a noops Okay, but I was a professional drawer at one point in my life, and I did real good in school, community college, won a couple of Santa Claus coloring art contests in the winter, um, but anyways, so today, I'm going to put these papers over here, get them out of the way, sorry everybody, I'm going to talk to you while I do a little drawing, okay, she got me a pencil, and she said, she gave me here a little sharpener, she says, now you want to keep it sharpened, okay, so you put it in there, and you twist, and then you get a sharp pencil. But she already did it for me because she didn't want Buck to cut his fingers or anything. So I'm putting this down over here. Now, the other thing that she brought to me was erasable colored pencils. Okay, Cronola. Now, cray, Crayola. Crawler? Crawler crayons. Okay, that's a name if I ever did see one. It says erasable colored pencils, long lasting, pre sharpened. That means that you don't have to worry about cutting your fingers there either. Premium quality. And that's the number 12, okay? Um, so I'm really excited about using these. She knows that sometimes you might make an oopsie and you need to fix it. Or maybe you want to do some shading. And then last but not least, I'm in the basement. We all know that there's demons down here, spurts, witches, whatever, trauma come around. Got to use wizard spray, okay? It says wizard right on it. That's how you know it works. It says white floral, okay? And you just... Just in your area, your general vicinity, to make sure the demons aren't going to bother you while you're doing your art. So put that behind me over here, okay? First off, so today what I'm going to be drawing, okay? I got it up here for inspirations, okay? Mr. Brian from Wander Arts and Adventures. Okay, now like I said, I is a little bit of a professional, okay? So I'm going to show you as I go. Okay, so first off, when you want to draw somebody, you want to draw... Probably their face first. That's what I would say, okay? So people's faces is different shapes. And that's why sometimes you got to get a good look at them. You know, see what's going on. Let's see if we can find Brian here in this video. Over here. I don't know where he's going to be. It's a whole lot of Jeeps. I don't see faces, though. No, he's here towards the end. I remember that much. Let's see. I'm trying to skip. I do know what he looks like. Oh, my gosh. It's gone. It's there. Put it here. I need to bring it back up to this thing. Okay. Anyways, I'm gonna start drawing when it comes up. Comes up. Okay. So you want to start with the face. So first, kind of do make it look like an egg. Okay. All right. So like this here. I'll show you in the camera if you can see, like an egg. Okay. So you do that first. Okay. Now Brian, he wears the hat a lot. Okay. So I was gonna start off with the brim of the hat. I'm gonna go like this. Like this. Boom, boom. Do a little ball cap there. Okay, and I'm gonna race to fire the brain part to get rid of that. Okay. So you got this right here. Alright, 
So I'll show you what I got. See, I'm already doing some erasing here because you want to make sure that it's nice, okay? So we got the hat on, okay? Got the hat on his head, okay? This is how I'm trying to get Matt and Amanda because Brian had a little thing happen today. And so now next you got to draw some eyebrows, okay? Now I'm going to make real cool eyebrows, straight ones, okay? Make them look serious. Draw some eyeballs here. Okay, like this. And then you got to draw the schnoz. Like this. And then you draw a face like this, okay? So look, this is what I got so far, okay? I'm working, work in progress, okay? So we got his face, okay? Now I'm kind of drawing it kind of small, okay? It's going to look bigger when it's done, okay? So then you want to put a little neck on there, okay? And we're going to color this sucker in too. Go like this. Put some shoulders on. Now, he's a skinny guy. So we're going to go like this. And we might make the inside of the body like this. And just hit. I think that cat just farted. I don't know. Did you hear that squeaks? Kit Kat's farting everywhere. Go like this. Okay. So. This gonna make some fingers because the guy needs fingers, okay. Like this, so here, those fingers are good. His arm, one arm's longer than the other, it's okay. And then I'll show you where I'm at right now. Oh, this is the shirt, so there's gotta be collar on it. Like this, okay. So that's where we're at, okay. We got half a brine, okay. Then we're gonna put some pants on, okay. Now, let's see here. So we'll go like this, put a little. Little cup on bottom. Or should we do shorts? I don't know. Okay. And we'll give him some shoes. A little bit of shoes. So we got it like that. Okay. So we got some pants. Oh, let's give it the pants and pockets. Here, I'll show you before I do that. Go like this. Make them look like fancy pants. Okay. <clears throat> there we go. Looking just like them. Look just like Wonder Arts and Adventures. Okay. So next, we got to add some colors, okay? Get some, cheap, get some colors. People like blue jeans. Do you people like blue jeans? Okay. Let's see here. This looks like purple. That's not blue. Here we go. Here's blue. We'll do some blue jeans like this. Just kind of color it in the best I can. Just keep, you know, when you're out there and you're doing some coloring, just do the best you can. Not everybody can be as good as Buck. You know, I went to community college. Got all my degrees and whatnot. You know, won some coloring contest, coloring in Santa Claus. You know, we'll do that. Um, you know what? I bet he'd like an orange. Oh, look, there he is right there. Okay. Here, let's pause that. That way we can get a good look. Okay, pause. Bam. He got a dark hat on. He got an orange shirt. So we'll give him an orange shirt, orange T-shirt. Okay. I'll show you as I go here. Okay. Now, this technique that I'm doing right now, this is called shading, okay? And this is how you make things look super real when you're coloring. You need everything. Oh, that's a long sleeve now. Well, oh, it's a long sleeve shirt. I went too far on the other. Oops. We call them tiny mistakes. They don't matter so much, okay? So, we got blue jeans, orange shirt. There he is, okay? Next, we're going to get out this here, this... Uh, a brownish color, and we're gonna put a beard on him. Okay, like this come down. It's a little beard. He keeps a short one. You know, it's not very manly, but it's okay. It goes like this. Comes up under the lip. Give him a little, little mustache there. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Okay, then you know what I forgot to put on his body? That we put some ears on there. It's nothing too big. Just kind of, kind of get it in there. Okay. So we're getting pretty close now, okay? You can see he got lots of that done, okay? We're gonna, his hat is black. So we'll use some of this coloring right here. We're we'll gonna do a black hat. Okay. Okay. There we go, we're getting real good now. You see how good that drawing is? Okay. Now, with the shoes, okay, I can't see what kind of shoes he's got on, but we're going to give him some purple ones, okay? A little bit of purple shoes. 
You got some big, big honking feet here. I'll tell you what in this picture. Okay, so you got this. It's looking pretty fancy already, okay? Now, I know most artists that you see on the YouTubes, on the TVs, whatnot, don't draw this well, okay? Now, last but not least, okay, let me get, where is it? We're going to do, we're going to make it look cool, okay? So, he got this walker thing he uses. Okay, let's see if we can get a little bit of a better picture. Make sure that we can. Because he had to stroke. So, we're going to put one of these things in one hand, okay, in front of him. We're going to do something like this. And then we'll put another thing in this hand. And it's got like a thingy that goes like this across. Okay. Maybe that's not how it goes. But anyways, we're going to make it look like a pretty cool thing. Okay, and it's going to take away from the pants, kind of. Here we go. Okay, it's going to go down. I'm going to make this into my own invention. Okay, because this doesn't look quite like what he had. Okay, there's a wheel. There's another wheel. Okay, and put this thing back here. It's got a wheel like this. It's got a little seat on it. Okay, there you go. Now, you guys have seen, in under 12 minutes, I drew Brian of Wander Arch and Adventures. Okay, that's who he is. Okay, Brian. Here, I'm going to go right under. Wander -er -er Arts and Adventures. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to put this on the counter, okay? And we're going to see if Maddie and Amanda absolutely love it. Okay, you probably won't see that in this video. Maybe it'll be in the next one. But we're going to get it out there. We're going to let people see it. That way they know. Book's not a bad guy. Trying to do some nice things. Trying to make some pictures for Maddie of his best friend. And hopefully his best friend, Brian, likes it too. Okay, he's a nice guy. But we're going to do this. Um, I hope that you guys learned it something today from Book. Now, you know, most people charge for this kind of information, okay? But this is something special. I'm sure most of you guys probably didn't make it through the whole video. But I don't know. I wanted to do something nice for Brian and for Maddie and Amanda. Just try to make up a little bit for these pencils over here. I got to get those back to Amanda. I also want to thank Darcy and Aiden for helping get me the supplies here to get done what I needed to get done. But anyways, you saw right here. Best picture on the face there, okay, number one. Done here in America by Buck. Slime on, everybody. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.